Hey guys, what's up? This is GWS. We're going to be playing a game called Democracy 3. What is Democracy 3? It's basically a game about being a world leader. Uh, well, not, well, being a country leader rather, not a world leader. But um, it's a game where you have to make decisions about, for example, the amount of gun freedoms a person has, the amount of taxes people pay, public versus private schools. There's a million different things like that, and then there's a million different variables, such as the education rate, the health rate, um, and then you have, like, your international relationships, and there's a ton, there's a shit ton of other things that you have to do, but you also have to do things on the political end. You have to satisfy your voting population if you're not a monarch, which um, I don't know if I'm going to do monarch mode or not. I think I might because monarch mode, it gives you a lot more time. But then again, you also kind of want to win elections. But more importantly, I just want to see if I can maintain the centrist route. I've played a lot of this before. So it's like I kind of know a little bit how to get there, but I'm doing randomized starts. So it's not going to be um, so simple as, like, if you start as the United States. So let's go into a game. I'll tell you more about it as we get into it. So, of course, we're going to pick America because, well, America. Hell yeah. Um, so, you know, it's got all this um, 78 life expectancy, and then it's got your... your Guinea coefficient, your GDP per capita, poverty, etc. Um, a lot of this won't mean a whole bunch. It kind of just tells you pretty much what, how difficult your circumstances are going to be. Um, they have more countries on here, and actually you could download mods that give you a lot of countries. But we're going to go ahead and play as America, and... Actually, we can go No Limit, but I still think I'm going to go Monarchy. I don't know. Because it's going to... The problem with Monarchy is I don't really have to please a lot of my constituents. Although, you can get assassinated. Um... So I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't go five years plus no limits. It'll give me more time, and I can't, you kind of have to satisfy um, some stuff. So we'll go... We'll call ourselves the Libertarian Party, just because it's... In real life, it's kind of most similar to what I align with. Um, so we'll go ahead and play with this. We got everything at 100 except for political apathy the engine is running as expected but you can kind of change a lot of these things including the difficulty you got hurricanes and earthquakes here so the Jehovah party we'll just call this party the communists because that's what we're fighting against here we are fighting against the evil communists um, so, we're going to go ahead and start this, um, gerrymandering constituencies, inverting the, <laughs> inventing the internet, this game has a lot of that. Okay, so, oh boy, we have some problems here. GDP not very good, because all this is randomized. We got some bad problems. So a lot of this is going to be me clicking through stuff, but I'm going to kind of introduce you to a lot of the of the things that you can do. And then, you know, it's going to be a lot of clicking for information, because there's a lot of information in this game. So we're going to go ahead and begin our term. Um, so we got 316 million people. Um the country significantly bigger. This game was made in 2013. Our GDP is very low. And this is very different than the America that I'm used to playing with. So this is going to be a challenge. Fortune, the poverty is probably about the same, actually. 
education, pff, eh, about the same. I think unemployment's a little high. Um, but we got a big crime problem. So we're going to begin our term in office. Um, and so, basically, to make sense out of this, all your blue icons here, these are your... Um, these are a lot of, like, your statistics, right? So, like, you got the amount of people using cars. And then these are, you know, like, you have a lot of motorists. And what this is important is if you, for example, implement something like a fossil fuel tax, the motorists are going to get very, very angry because they're not going to be driving as much. Another thing is, like, if you have public transportation, um... And so, but right now, this is, um, this is value over, it. oh, this is, yeah, this is the number of, the number of miles per year the average household travels by car. So this isn't really membership, but we'll get into that. And as you can see, here are the causes of why car usage is as high as it is. And, you know, we got a car tax, it's, um, got a very small impact, and then you have a lot of these other small impacts, but a big thing is like your road building being what it is is causing car usage to go up. Of course GDP is causing this. And it's important that you realize the difference between causes and effects because this isn't causing GDP. GDP is causing this. And here are the effects of the car usage. So you have um, subsidies going up significantly um, then you have then you have car tax income then you have hybrid cars initiative and then you have the environment and so you got a lot of these um, and these white ones I believe are policies yes the, this this is gonna be a lot of what you're gonna be changing so, for example, your biofuel subsidies. You can lower this, or you can raise this. Um, and so, now, you always want to click on Revert Changes if you ever get this game. But, um, basically, you're going to be toggling this. And as you toggle this, notice the impact on these bars. The lighter of the red means what the effect's going to be at the end. And this number in parentheses here is the number of turns it's going to take to get to that level. So, for example, um, the oil demand um, will be will be significant will be reduced a lot less, but it's going to take eight turns to get to that level. However, this your number of farmers. Um, I think this is the number of farmers. Oh, this is all. Oh, this isn't farmer membership. This is like their GDP or something. But this is going to take four turns to get to that point. So it's going to get to this point faster than this, right? Um, so we're not going to change anything. So we're going to revert changes. Um, and then we're going to click on the X. You always got to do that because otherwise, um, otherwise, I guess I should bring this up. Like basically you have um, like this is the amount of what you call political capital that you have and it'll also be in the main menu I have 24 political capital if I were to raise the subsidies it would cost me seven political capital if I were to lower them it would cost eight which is actually interesting because usually when you lower something it's a lot more this is just a little bit and if you want to cancel subsidies entirely, just say no biofuel subsidies, then that's going to cost 16. Um, and then we will go over that in a second. But you have, you know, these are all your policies. All these red things are your basically um, prob like your triggered problems. So, for example, we have a problem with antisocial behavior. These are temporary, and these reds, they last for as long as you are as you are above the stop trigger. So, as you can see, there's a start trigger and a stop trigger. Um, and so, once you reach the start trigger, what happens is 
you get this um, you get this red icon on your on your map here, your node map, and th it's going to have this effect on people. It has a little bit of a negative effect on tourism. It increases crime, and it um, oh, this is the approval rating. Excuse me. So this is your conservative approval rating. Um, that goes way down because conservatives don't like antisocial behavior, I guess. And then here is liberalism. I'm assuming this is a specific group, and we're going to get to that actually. You know, and of course, you know, you also have your green icons. Your green icons are always going to have, almost always going to have good effects. I think they can have like one or two bad effects, but they're almost always good effects right so the effect of technological advantage is that we get GDP and productivity and you know this is something you want to keep you don't want this to fall below the stop trigger the other is you want to fall below that stop trigger um, and of course this is caused by very high technology and also, one other interesting thing is, if you hover over one of these, um, you'll see um, where it is increasing. So, for example, our currency strength is increasing tourism and international trade, um, and our higher GDP is decreasing currency strength. So the, so the green lines mean it's increasing if the red means it's decreasing it um, and of course if something's going to it then it's increasing that so let's look for a better example let's look for you know here's something with a lot so um, here's middle earnings and this is mostly impacted by other things and as you can see some of these are policies some of these are just other statistics right but see of course it's not just policies you have all these different groups of people that you have to satisfy you gotta sa satisfy the socialists the commuters liberals self-employed poor farmers youth capitalists patriot religious environmentalists you get the picture right and all these groups are gonna have various um, different approval ratings of you and then you're gonna have an overall popularity rating um, and in addition, and I think this, oh no, this is our cabinet, um, we'll get to that in a second, but there's, um, certain, um, subgroups of people within these, um, I think, yeah, see, there's a lot of, like, different, um, there's a lot of different focus groups here which have different um, influences and you know I never really paid that much attention to this because this is just micromanaging at an insane level um, but basically you have that here's also another way of looking at your stats in general um, and more than anything, it's just um, a history of. Um, you can even look at these too. That's interesting. Um, so capitalist conservative. This is where I typically am now. Um, so let's just look at some of these just to see. This shows the party members and political activists that support you and your opponent. So this is going to be my opponent so my opponent's gonna have a huge advantage just because um say so let's quit this tutorial um so now well a couple other things first of all you have your cabinet here now this is the most important part one of the most important parts because these are going to be the people that give you the political capital in order to get things done so each of these is going to contribute a certain amount of capital and each of these people they have their own different um, 
they have their own different wants and needs and you know they have yeah yeah okay it shows it right here so this guy Edward Kelly here he's got very high loyalty not very much experience which means he's not gonna do a lot naturally but as you can see his sympathies here are religious and commuter and he wants um, foreign policy transport or welfare right so he likes me a lot he's worth 4.4 and that's a decent chunk of political capital now on the other end of the spectrum 2.4 which isn't that low um, a lot of times you're just gonna have people that you really can't please with what you want just because there's certain immediate needs and, and they'll just run it into the ground you can get to the point where they'll give you like one political capital but you know this guy's where he wants to be um, this guy's a liberal and he's a motorist so if I stick with a conservative type of thing he's probably gonna be happy but he's got very very little experience and he's got very very little effectiveness now I'm not sure if he can make him more effective over time um, but yeah and you can fire any of these guys for four or you can fire them all for ten and you could look at the po the potential ministers before you do this and as you can see there's some of these that are gonna give me a lot of political capital like he would give me 4.9 he's really big on state employees though we're not doing commies so that ain't happening um, let's see she got very little experience but she got quite a bit of loyalty she gave me 4.6 um, so three he gave me 4.9 he's retired and conservative so he'd probably be a little bit too right-wing for what I'm gonna do um, okay so we got socialist and liberal which that's not happening but she give 4.5 um, trade unions and religious I like that actually a lot she wants transport economy or welfare um, and so I can give her that job so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this dude it only costs me three fire him and then I'm gonna put her in and they're not happy so we're gonna put her in there oh I gotta okay oh just hire um so we'll hire her <coughs> excuse me um we've also got our tax um here he'd only cost three to fire so we want to make sure people are where they want because otherwise it does lower a lot of stuff um so 3.8 she would probably be the most effective um out of these anyhow I don't see anybody who's gonna do any better for me 3.8 farmers and trade unions I think I can kinda get along with her a little bit um so I'll go ahead and fire Mr. Taxman here and then we will hire her okay so we more or less now this made actually some people mad um apparently they don't like stuff being stirred I don't know if it was smart me fire. I, I didn't know it would impact others if people were fired. That I did not notice. I almost should have just reshuffled my cabinet anyhow. Um, but we're actually in a, a lot worse of a place because of what we just did. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and restart this just so I can not dirt myself. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Go America. 
We go no limit, five years. Play. We'll be a different party, but honestly, I don't care. Um, so let's return to government. So we're going to begin our turn. As you can see, stuff changed a little bit because I randomized. And now our GDP is horrible. And our education's better. But our crime is through the roof now. So the only thing is our popularity with some people is better. So yeah, you really want to be careful with the political capital stuff. Um, so here's a, one other thing. Well, you have a couple things here. Number one, this will show you what your um, income and what your expenditure is. Um, so we're running a 112 billion dollar deficit and so this I believe okay this is our security briefing this is another thing I want to show too so this just shows your threat of being assassinated um, and right now we're not under any threat of being assassinated but And this is all the security stuff we have. Um, so, and then one final thing to show is this is where you put in new policies or re put in old policies. And this kind of works the same. This is like starting a policy, basically. So, for example, instead of like playing with the tax rate of certain things, we can apply a new tax. <clears throat> so, like for example, if we wanted an airline tax, um, implementation, implementation time one quarter, um, but we don't have the political capital. We need 28, we have 25. Um, and this is going to be our potential income that we get one billion to sixty six billion depending where we set the tax right so we could set recreational um, drug tax and all that um, so here's your public services um, and honestly it's like you think as a libertarian you just say well why don't I just get rid of some of these but the thing is with this game it's like Usually, usually, at least having a lot of these policies, not every one of them, you don't want some of the ones that contradict, unless you're going for something specific, but you're probably going to want at least some level of these, um, regardless, just because it's very hard to play the game as a centrist but we're gonna try and I have the method that I used to get there before and we're gonna see if it works so now what are we gonna do here because we spent about half hour just talking about how to play the game so basically we really need to solve some of these problems right so right now we have homelessness so we got homelessness, we got skill shortage, which is kind of real life, and we got a pollution problem. We have an uncompetitive economy problem, um, and we have a drug addiction problem. We have an asthma ep epidemic. We have vigilante mobs. And we got internet crime that's very high. Um, so we got a lot of these problems. But the key problem is, you know, and this is kind of a real life philosophy too, is like everything really stems from providing stability and the, the bare minimum of security where you can at least do things as a deterrent. 
So what, what are these things we want to start doing? Well, one of the big ones here is... Um, <clears throat> Like, we want to get rid of ghettos, because that's doing a lot, but I'm looking for organized crime. Here's street gangs. Street gangs cause a lot. The, especially, the, they cause, or the effect is more ghettos, which I think the game kind of has that in reverse order. But it is what it is. So, we want to get rid of... We want to get rid of the gangs. First, probably. Because this seems to have the most significant impact. A lot of this is just on... Like, see, well, this increases ghettos. This is vigilante... That's internet crime. Yeah, ghettos. And this, um, yeah, it impacts pretty much everything. Right? So one thing we, I really believe in is just getting super tough on crime. Like, we want to get the crime rate way down. You know, we got antisocial behavior here which is having an effect on crime. So, now we can do this by, if we raise this, raise armed police, it's gonna have somewhat of an impact on crime and a huge impact on street gangs. Um, so we could raise this to max, and I honestly think that's the way to go about it. And the cool thing is, um, a lot of these don't take any time at all. So, we're going to go with, the voters do not like this, but see, a lot of things with voters, it's like, if you can bring about some rapid change, well, we're going to actually look through things, we're not going to, so if we, so we can lower gated communities. We can actually reduce them to nothing. <clears throat> so conservatives love gated communities for some reason. The wealthy, of course, love their gated communities. And it just lowers crime a little bit. So see, uh, one thing to kind of look at, too, is just like, you know... It's not just about which thing has the largest impact, it's, um, it's more than anything gonna be, like, your, your impact, like, basically, your impact per point that you're spending. Like, you really want to be efficient, because you don't have a lot of political capital. You know, I'm not really somebody who tries to cater to my advisors. If my advisors start getting bad, I'll just start firing them. And I'll look for ones that kind of go along with the direction I'm moving. That's my big thing. Um, so we got jury trial. We can't really mess with that too much. Um, this doesn't really even have a large impact to begin with. It just kind of makes liberals like me a little better, which is not really what we're going for. Okay, so we can do some of these, but we can also... And I've always believed in, like, adding a lot of this, so... Community policing, people would love. It's cheap, which is important. It's very easy to implement. Well, it takes a lot of time, but... You know, I think it's an easy thing to do. 
So we're going to implement this. And so we can put this where we want for free, which is really good. It's a very cheap way to lower crime. It lowers antisocial behavior. Basically, there's very few negative impacts to this. So, naturally, we're going to do it. So we're going to go ahead and put this on max, because it costs, you know, 15 billion, which isn't a small amount, mind you, but... Okay, so now we can't... Why can we not do tasers? Okay, so this will take us 16. This only costs us 2. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this for 2, just to erase discrimination. And this will decrease racial tension a lot. Which I want to do anyhow in real life. Like, why would you not want to reduce that. Like, ethnic minorities are going to like me more. It's going to benefit me. It costs almost nothing. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and do this. So this is how I always approach. Um, but of course you do want things like um, you do want things like drones, like tasers, like, um, you know, you may even want a little bit of racial profiling. But the point is, he, he, here's a big thing, and this is kind of what I aim for, um, depending on if we're going to be able to do it. Because a lot of problems can crop up, and it's like, I don't even know all the problems. But, um... I like to get to the point where I could start doing big things like legalizing gambling, legalizing prostitution, legalizing narcotics and cannabis and all that. But you do kind of have to bridge your way to that through strict law enforcement. And it's a little bit of a thing. Um, so we can raise this. doesn't cost a lot to change that, but I think we're going to refrain from that. Um, so let's kind of go from the bottom here, see what we can do. Private prisons. Um, surprisingly, surprisingly liberals like private prisons. But then again, it's kind of talking liberal in the classical sense. Um, of course, capitalists love private prisons. Trade unionists don't like private prisons for whatever reason. I don't know what that is. Um, unemployment goes down. Conservatives like it. Liberals like it. It does significantly lower crime. So... We're going to go ahead and attack this. Um, so we'll get to internet crime later. But I really want to address this ghetto problem. Which means we got to address the street gang problem. So unemployment's going to be, unemployment's the biggest issue. So what we want to do here for unemployment is um, we're going to want, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to want to do some public service, I think. Um, University grants, art subsidies. Um, but we really want to kind of attack 
the problem directly. Tax shelters, work safety law. Okay, people don't like the tax shelters too much, but we are going to want stuff that encourages job growth. But it doesn't look like there's so much here. So we're going to look at... So if we raise this, it's not going to lower unemployment that much. Um, so you got labor laws. Doesn't impact unemployment. Our space program. Very little impact on unemployment. And then we're going to have small business grants. This might... It'll increase the self-employed membership a little bit. Trade units, of course, won't like that. That's for obvious reasons. It's a cheap thing, but not a lot of impact. Okay. So here's something we could kind of do a little bit about. A couple things. So we really... So yeah, the unemployment benefit will increase the unemployment rate, which kind of makes sense. Um, here's our international, so this is not going to be huge. Um, So this is this is a very expensive thing to implement, though, because it kind of is costly. So we can reduce the income tax too, I think, but it's not gonna have a huge impact. Here's sales tax. So capital gains, well, I don't know, why have I not looked at the unemployment? So I could look at technology grants, I could look at unemployment here. Um, the biggest, the biggest cause of unemployment is our high GDP. So we're going to, so street gangs are increased by unemployment, or unemployment increases street gangs. Maybe this, maybe I have these mixed up, but, yeah, I think I got it mixed up. I think the effects are what this affects, and this is what the, it causes, so the unemployment causes higher GDP, um, but so we really want um, let's see So we could increase military spending, but I'm not a big fan of that. And in fact, we're probably going to want to lower military spending so we can raise other things. We don't need to worry too much about that yet. So 
So this we can't, don't have enough political capital for now. So vouchers. Increases. Uh, reduces socialism, but it increases everything else. Um, so we got abortion here. We have science funding, which slightly reduces unemployment, but not too much. Um, So this is significantly if we wanted to, but see some of these, like this costs almost 300 billion per quarter, which is not where we want to be. So here's food standards. Creation versus evolution, kind of a small thing. So I think what we want to do is we want to go for, hang on, I need to look for something, because I, I could have sworn there was something about libraries. Maternity, recycling, tax shelters, work safety. Um, recreational, enterprise, investment scheme. Yeah, this actually would um gives tax breaks okay so this is tax breaks who so invest their money in small startup companies <whistles> given the citizens who cost of energy micros okay so I'd say this probably would be our best thing so we're gonna implement this um which is going to increase the self-employed. Um, so this reduces socialism, which is good. It increases self-employed membership income and it increases high earnings. And it's 23 billion a quarter. Moderate cost. Um, so we're just going to kind of look at other things too. Telecommuting, fuel efficiency, law and order. We've already got everything we can get here. Public services, free eye tests. Um, okay, so we got plastic bags, recreational. Clean energy, work safety, robotics research, welfare fraud. So we don't want any of that. Um, So I think the biggest thing we want to do next turn is we want to do state schools. I think that's going to be a big thing. So here's the petrol tax. Um, just want to make sure we're not reducing... Just want to make sure we're doing everything effectively. So there's tobacco tax. So I think the biggest thing is we do kind of want... I want to do something like every turn. Like I don't want to have political capital kind of I don't want to reduce equity just because we're probably going to have a problem with equity so we got race discrimination we can't do anything about raising that okay we did this already um So this will lower crime a little bit. I don't want to increase state 
employee membership more than I have to. Death penalty. I can't even change this. Like, look at the amount it takes to change or even cancel that. Like, that's an insane amount. So, our alcohol law. Which we don't have. It doesn't cost a lot to change it. We just don't have enough. Okay, so private prisons is coming. We've already got that down. So that takes a lot to change. I might have to just kind of carry over some of these things, but there's a little bit of stuff I can do. So this really causes tension. I want to leave the citizenship alone. I'd like to lower military spending, but it costs a lot to do it. See, that's the thing, and this is the thing true of this game and in real life, is it takes a lot more to repeal something than it does to, um... It takes a lot more to repeal something. than it does to actually implement it. So it's like, you know, you really want to be careful of just implementing stuff willy-nilly. I don't think this does me any good to change, even though I can change it. I guess I just kind of got to go... I could raise it for four, and a little bit of poverty down. I'd say, yeah, this is the best way, and then we're going to go to the next turn. Okay. So, here's our next turn, so we're going to return to government, and now our credit rating is going to get downgraded. And this is going to have an impact on our GDP, and capitalists will not like us. So the economic forecast, the global economy is doing well. That's a good thing. We need that to happen. Um, security briefing. Um, and we're starting to... People are still not very happy. This may be a very difficult situation, but our popularity is better than it was. Right. So we could see the impact that we had on certain things. So... For example, street gangs are kind of down. It shouldn't take us long to get to the stop trigger of that. And that's going to really reduce things significantly once we get to that point. Um, so anyhow, the first thing I wanted to do was... Um, I want to increase state schools. So if I increase that... That's going to increase the number of state employees. It's going to significantly reduce unemployment. And that's going to be... Except for, I don't think we really want... Because right now we're at about $100 billion. I'd say probably this is a pretty happy kind of medium right here. But I want to be careful because we're going to have a lot lower unemployment once we kind of get crime... I think I'm going to hold off on this, because I do want, um, I do want to have, um, a lot better, oh, this works, actually, we do need internet crime done, so I think we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to have our spy satellite network. So you do really want to work on this from a law and order perspective. Law and order, the only thing we can do is police drones. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, well, public services. 
Okay, public libraries. This is the one I was looking at. Um, and I think this is kind of where we want to go. And one of the big things we're kind of going to have to do eventually, in fact, I might go ahead and do it, because this is going to be more for the long term. I need to lower military spending. Okay, this is going to, um, it's a little bit of a risk because it, it reduces your patriotism. I don't really want to screw with patriots that much. Um, I can have a small negative impact. We can have this. Unemployment goes, in-state employees goes way down. Liberal like me or hate me a lot less. So we're going to go ahead and apply these. That's the single biggest thing I can do for lowering our costs. So now we're we're still not doing great. And we're probably actually going to have to raise taxes eventually just so we can get we can kind of keep afloat. It takes so much to raise taxes though so it's like we may almost have to start doing <coughs> some of these other taxes, although you don't really get a lot of income from these kinds of things. So let's look at what we do have. So we do have a petrol tax. We can't raise it. Because, of course, nobody wants their taxes to go up. But see, there's going to be a point where it's like we're going to have to raise taxes. Because you do kind of got to have... Um, you do really have to have... the money to do a lot of this stuff. So one th kind of thing that you want to, you do want really good tech. And that's a big thing. And I think that's where, you know, because I, I think that the crime is going to work itself out now from what we've done. So what we, we want to do is we kind of want to just focus on things that are going to increase our tax revenue so that when we do have to raise taxes, we don't have to raise them as much. So this is one thing I kind of believe in, is more pollution control. So it lowers GDP a little bit, but um, the capitalists don't like me a lot with it though, but they're going to like, capitalists are going to like a lot of other stuff that I do, so it's not going to be that huge, but it's going to provide an environment, so let's not use political capital, but let's look at what, um, what the environment is has an impact on. It has a little bit of an impact on tourism, like our asthma epidemic is really impacted. So I think this is a worthwhile thing to raise. So we're going to raise this to its max level because we can. So now we still have, well we only got one, so we need to advance now. Now we got to start looking at this because um, our popularity is going up, but parents don't like us, trade units don't like us, liberals don't like us, conservatives don't like us. Basically, another day in the life of a centrist, right? So, there's that. Okay, now, now I like these. These are, um, kind of cool. So, we can enable a debt protection law. So, if we limit... Uh, um, debt collection agencies. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates so that they can never be repaid. 
this is little more than extortion, or it can allow the agencies. Nobody's forcing people to borrow money that they can't repay and restrict rights. So, believing in freedom, yeah, I'm going to accept their um, activity. You know, they can, if people want to get these loans, they can get these loans. That's how I look at it. We're losing a lot of income. So, right now, we're about $150 billion in the hole, which, honestly, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to look for a lot of, like, just kind of quality of life things. Let's make sure that we still got our street crime kind of going down. It has not gone down. Um... a lot because I think probably our unemployment went up and it did so what we might actually want to do I don't think we'll be able to do it surprisingly we can lower the unemployment but it's not going to save us a lot of money but it will reduce and not enough to matter though Okay, so we need kind of a substitute, too, and I just think it's going to come from just basic, cheap, simple, little quality of life things that just increase the metrics of the country so that we can easily so that we could just basically easily solve these problems because right now the way it works is um, the, the way it works right now is just like it's the people aren't as educated as they need to be um, you know, I think we have enough law and order to be honest so we could do robotics, we can do clean energy, we can do ag subsidies. Ag subsidies, I think, would almost help with parents. Um, foreign investor tax breaks. We can do um, recycling. That's a little expensive for the impact it'll probably have. Let's see, junk food, health, recreational, drug tax. Um, art subsidies. I don't like arts, but I'm almost thinking continue their education if they have to join the workforce. And learning resources. So I like this, so we're going to do that. So skill shortage is going to be hugely impacted by this. So that solves that problem. We've only got three left. So we're going to go ahead and advance. Okay, so our crime and violent crime went down, which is good. Um, our crime is going significantly down that's really helping we got our community p policing starting to kick in which is good okay so street gangs are going down again which is good let's look at our unemployment Okay, wages aren't really impacted. So this is our working week. I'm not concerned with that. Productivity's going up, which is good. GDP went up a little bit, which is good. Unemployment is still going up, which is not good.
So with more unemployed, we're paying more unemployment benefits, but we're also getting more money. So what do parents really not like? They like the school buses. They hate everything else. So trade units, what do they dislike? Pretty much everything. Everything except for the working week. Of course they want working week. Um, so we're actually, the good thing is, our stuff is approved by our advisors, which is good. Um, married tax allowance, let's look at kind of what we can do here. Free eye test, school meals, university grants, art subsidies, healthcare vouchers. Um, infrastructure is going to be important down the line, but I just think the big thing is the skill shortage and kind of getting... Now, a lot of this is going to be really helpful, child benefit, but that costs a lot. Um, so right now, I think because we got stuff in gear to solve a large part of our problems, not all the problems, but some of them, um, I think we could still kind of solve um, I think we need to really look at unemployment so GDP is causing unemployment Which is the weirdest thing. <clears throat> so we need to look at just what can we do for trade unions that's really going to help them. And I think what we need really want to do is kind of So we don't want to ban Sunday shopping, but <coughs> I'd say the work safety laws would really be a thing. This would only take us four. So we're going to start appealing to the trade unionists. So this is going to decrease the self-employed, but we have stuff increasing. Productivity goes down a little bit, health goes up a little bit. So I'd say the self-employed will not like us, but they'll also decrease in membership, so it's not going to... matter. So we'll go ahead and... So let's say if we have a small amount, that wouldn't be that bad of a thing. We'll just do this right here. So see, again, a lot of this is going to be, you implement policies at some level. Um, and then, like, you just you start balancing how much of each thing. And that pretty much determines your stuff. So let's look where our internet crime is. Internet crime is significantly going down because of our intel. So I think that a lot of that's going to be fixed. <coughs> so once we get community policing in, that's probably going to reduce our alcohol abuse and 
hopefully in the long term, we'll see that completely gone. Antisocial is falling way down. Vigilante mobs is going to be gone within a couple. So I think the crime thing is almost solving itself. So once we solve poverty and all that, that's going to solve this. And I think the environment is going to solve the car usage problem. So yeah, I think we're free to do some of these little bitty quality of life improvements. Youth clubs should, it's very popular with parents. I'd say the free school meals, let's do that. So this is going to cost us seven. So we can actually do both, can't we? And then we'll do youth club. So we'll go ahead and... So we're starting to kind of spend a ton. So let's see where we're at now. Okay. So our crime is going way, way down. Poverty's going way, way down. Um, education's going way, way up. We still need to do something about our health. And we're going to get there. Do we ban alcohol? Adverts? Reject ban. We don't need it right now. Okay. So, we're still getting more popular. Parents are really happy with us now. So, liberals, we need to find something for them. So let's kind of look at where our people are at. The only one that does not like us is our foreign policy guy. But we're going to wait till he gets super low. And then we'll, we'll give him the axe. But until then, I think we're going to continue just seeing what we can put in. So I don't think we need to do... See, once we legalize prostitution, we're going to see a huge increase in crime. But the problem is it's not going to be very popular. But it's going to bring us a lot better of an economy. But we need to make sure that we are set up where legalizing prostitution, legalizing drugs, like we can kind of stymie the burden of it. And we'll even have some popularity to boot. People really want university grants. But I kind of more want to do just like small things. Like maternity leave, almost everybody wants that. And I think we're going to, as a, as a democracy, we're going to do that, but I'd say probably recycling would help a lot. First of all, let me just kind of take a look at some stuff here. Um, so, Church of Christ really wants us um, kind of dead. So they're in the green. They're not really in a position yet where they can assassinate us, but I don't want to get to that point. Um, we could be in Sunday shopping, but that would absolutely be just devastating. So 
So people don't like, people like clean fuel, they want free buses. National monorail, people would like. But that could cost $54 billion. I don't want to spend that kind of money. Telecommuting or working from home. But I don't really want to reduce the number of motorists. So here's something kind of small. This would help the capitalists out a little bit. Um, it's generally popular with people. So we got organ donation, we got art subsidies, university grants. I think we could do some maternity leave, but I think it might reduce productivity. I'm going to go with recycling, just because it's the least harmful thing that we can do. Actually, our expenses are going down because, well, our unemployment's going down, or up, I mean, which is strange, because how is this? That's interesting. Um, but let's look at what we can do here. Micro generation. This could cost us up to 12 billion, though. Free eye test. I don't think people care a ton about that. Telecommuting. So let's, um, people generally want rent controls. It would reduce homelessness. People generally want it. I don't like, I don't really want to. How much do the cap? The capitalists are kind of neutral toward me right now. I don't want to get in their way. Okay. So we're almost to the point where we can um, include free taxpayer interest. Helps to encourage investment for. This is a lot of money, though. I don't want to spend that kind of money. So, if we raise this. Bus usage in parents. Um, I really, I can't lower the state pension. That would be suicidal. Um, What are we at? Uh, we're at 17. We can gain 10 billion. The poor like us a lot less. I don't know if it's worth. Because I think in the long term we're going to be fine in terms of income. So we could lower this too, but I don't want to touch the space program because so we got pollution controls, which is good. We got small business grants, which we can raise. 
increase self-employed, increase GDP. Socialists don't like us. Good. I don't want socialists. Okay, confirm using political capital. Yes. So we will definitely do that. So is there any small thing we can do? Just... Robotics research, public service. I mean, we almost might as well. Increase his health a little bit. Capitalists don't like us. The wealthy don't like us. So if we do this, poverty goes down. Poverty goes down significantly. I'd say where they have it is kind of pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll go to next turn. Okay, so our street gang's right in end. That's huge. Um, speed limits. Raise speed limits, of course. Because freedom, why not? Okay. So street gangs are down, vigilante gangs are no more. Alcohol abuse is going way down. Because we're getting good community stuff. Okay, so we have so our racial tension is going way down. Which is good. So all this is kind of going up. We're starting to get our popularity pretty high now. Which is helping out a lot. So we're going to need... I think one big thing we can do for liberals at the moment. It's going to hurt us. But it's going to bring us some much needed... stuff and that is we're gonna want to legalize prostitution I forgot where this is I think it's law and order okay now my advisors are starting to hate me so I'm at 20 So if I get much lower, I'm going to shit can my cabinet. So we're gonna. Cause right now it pains me, but I can't do the thing I want to do and legalize prostitution. Attention without trial, curfew, CCTV. Um, more importantly, some of these, like we got a revolutionary army, we have the Warriors of Gaia, and we have Black Power Group. That is significantly 
increasing our threat. So we're going to eventually need some security here. And I think, honestly, the drones are going to be required. So that's what we're going to do. So we just want to make sure that we're not breaking the bank with this. So I think it's about fine where it's at. So we'll keep that there. Okay, so our crime is going way down, which is awesome. Our education is very good. And this is, um... See, all these memberships are way down, but our, our radical memberships are going way up. So our youth club subsidies are... And these are already maxed. We got 24. I need 25 to legalize prostitution. So I believe I get 20 per month. I almost think that I should start firing everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. So let's hire a foreign policy. So you give us 4.0. You're a religious capitalist. I think I can win you over. Um, okay, so you are foreign policy. <clears throat> so we got foreign policy here. He'd only give us 2.7. Law and order, public change. So he give us 4.1. He's a religious capitalist. He's a religious capitalist. So we'll go with you. You'll get this job. Because you guys have basically the same. Okay. So, our welfare secretary will be... You're a liberal capitalist. I th could probably keep you happy enough. So... You're a retired motorist. But you're for that. Patriot capitalist. Okay, so you're 4.3, so we'll hire you for welfare. Okay, so for the economy, we need... Okay, you're a religious capitalist. I think we're going to hire you. Or you. Retire motorist. So we'll hire you... So, who's going to be our tax guy? You're 3.5. You're religious retired. You 
You're three point six. You're an environmentalist youth. I think the way I'm going is probably going to be toward you, the environmentalist youth. So we'll go with that. The environmentalist youth tax collector. Okay, so for public services, we're not hiring any damn socialist. Three point five for religious retired. Well, I gotta do something for the religious. Because now I'm almost married to all these religious people. Maybe they're all Jews, who do we how do we know? Um we got law and order. Law and order, she's gonna give me one. She does not like me. Um Law and order. She only give me two point three. Give me three. Law and order. You're liberal environmentalist. Right up my alley. Transport. We'll hire you. Um, so now we have a pretty good cabinet to replace what we had. Now we still got fourteen. So we could do something small. We're actually starting to kind of kick ass when it comes to our income. I wish... So where's our income coming from? Our debt's going up. <clears throat> our debt to GDP ratio. So our debt is four trillion. Our deficit is only forty-two billion per quarter. So where's our income coming from? Is what I'm wondering. So the global economy is going down. That's hurting us a lot. But when it goes up, it should really go up. So our relative GDP. Our GDP is starting to go way up. Homelessness is starting to go down. Well, it's almost actually all the way down. Our uncompetitive economy should be down by the year. Um, so we should start seeing effects on that. I don't want to... We could get a lot of luxury goods, but my goodness, that's going to probably give us a pounding. We can do some consumer rights or maternity leave. I think that's going to help with parents. Yeah, helps a lot with parents, though it really reduces productivity. But trade unions kind of like it. So parents' income goes up a little bit. Parents' membership. Trade unions, if we only have a small, like, quarter pay, they'll like us a little bit. Productivity will down a little bit. But our parents' income won't really go up that much. Because, of course, they got to pay for the kid.
I'd say probably something like this a little bit. So we'll do a couple more here. I want to at least finish this turn because we're <coughs> ending two big problems here. We're ending our uncompetitive economy and we're ending vigilante mobs. Now I think the next thing we want to attack was health. Okay, so we're gonna allow GM crops because we're always about productivity and that's the key. So our unemployment's not really solving itself. Um, so the trade unionists are reducing it, the working week is increasing it, the unemployment rate is really increasing it, the amount of unemployed people, homelessness is really increasing it. <coughs> So I think we really need to solve the homeless problem. And I think we're going to do a couple of things to do it. First of all, we need to... We need to get... I'd say... Rent controls would be easier and less costly state housing is going to be extremely so I think right now we're going to implement rent control. It's not that popular but I would have thought this would reduce homelessness it will reduce poverty though so maybe we just want some kind of small rent control So capitalist income goes down. Capitalists don't like us. Poverty goes down. Some socialists like us a little bit. In terms of... I may just want to cancel and just eat the four points. Which I did not do. Um, so I think we'll go. We're going to go with some state housing. We're solving the homeless problem. So this is not really helping us a lot, is it? But it is reducing poverty and increasing poor earnings. I don't like the idea of doing this, though. The, the socialists like us, the capitalists don't. So poverty. See with this though, we're giving some measure to poor inequality. Poverty, poor earnings, equality, poverty, and poor earnings. And almost just say, leave it as more symbolic. I 
Oh, it does reduce homelessness. So I'd say, yeah, let's do that right there. That's going to solve a lot of our problem. And to make the capitalists happy, we'll do foreign investor tax breaks to increase our GDP. Patriots are not going to like it, but we want GDP. Okay, so we're going to see the effect of all of this. Let's kind of look and see. We should be getting rid of antisocial behavior soon, but it kind of took... It's taken a dive in the other direction. We're probably going to have to end up raising taxes, too. But, for now... We're actually doing pretty well in our stuff, so let's... There's an urgent policy question. So do we extradite the suspect? We could send this terrorist back to his home country immediately. But the justice system of his home country... He will face the death penalty. Extradite an immigrant living here fakes social terrorism. Now that's interesting because it would depend if we had an extradition treaty, right? So they were forced to revert. The thing is, we're going to need some international clout for when we do tariffs, because that's how I kind of want to fund. I want to bridge over to tariffs. But we're going to need some other international things in order to make that a safe decision. Fortunately, we got rid of a lot of our assassin threats. Let's see where we're at, because we're going to end on this turn. Um, we'll continue later. So, our pollution problem's not getting any better. Our homelessness problem is not getting any better. Um... State housing is going to take a little while to put in the effect that it needs. Our skill shortage is right on the verge of being over, which is good. Our drug addiction, we have not done anything about yet. We got bigger fish to fry. Our asthma epidemic, surprisingly, has not gone down, even with our environmental controls. Internet crime continues to decline. We got our ghettos that still are going down, which is great, but it needs to be better. Alcohol abuse tailed off. Um, if we look at our popularity, our parents parents don't like us, but they like us more than they used to like us. Um, we're still not incredibly popular, but our popularity has gone up significantly. We're about a third of the way through our term, which has helped. Um, patriots are deeply unhappy with us because of foreign investment. They do not like that. We're gonna have. We may have to do something about our patriots. But anyhow, that is democracy three. And we're going to go ahead and save this. We already have stuff here, so we're going to save... Um, I already did one of these, of course, so... We're going to go ahead and save... Let's see... We'll just save it under Radical Centrist. Okay. So turn to government. Okay. Um... So that's going to be the video. I'll go ahead and upload this, and um, thank you guys for listening, and God bless.